Hello developers, today we are going to build an NFT marketplace for images. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. NFTs or non-fungible tokens are a new technology phenomenon allowing clear ownership and easy transferability of digital art. NFT marketplace for images is used to generate the crypto boy using NFT blockchain and cryptocurrency. The generated crypto boy can be sold and they can see who is the owner of the token and also the token metadata. You will be building this interesting solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on Candy. Today we'll be using a popular kit which is NFT marketplace for images one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license which means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. So let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello all. Hope you are excited to build your NFT marketplace for images. To build your NFT marketplace for images you will need the following. First, you would need MetaMask extension, which is a cryptocurrency wallet used for accessing Ethereum in our local browser. So it basically injects all the Ethereum and Web3 APIs into our website in the form of JavaScript. Then you would need Ganesh, which is a personal blockchain for our Ethereum development. So it will help you deploy contracts, set up your application, and you can also test the network onto your local system. Also, you would need some other dependencies. Everything that you need is already available in the Candy Kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application into your systems with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions as you would be navigating through this kit. The features, the different technologies used as well as the two important prereqs which is your MetaMask as well as Ganesh setup links are also provided here. So you can use the link to set up the MetaMask extension and as well as the download option for Ganesh onto your Windows system. So you can now follow the instructions listed here, pause this video and complete the installations. Once ready, hit resume and we will jump right back into application development. So as you're downloading the kit, you can also quickly set up the prereqs for this kit. So let's go for a MetaMask extension for Chrome. So you can simply go and add this extension to Chrome. And alongside you can go for downloading the Ganesh for your Windows. So if you follow the link, you will be also able to navigate to your setup for downloading the Ganesh software. So once the Chrome extension gets added up as well as the installation for this Ganesh happens, after the download finishes, it's important that you already run Ganesh into your local system. So basically this will help you set up this crypto wallet and we would want to connect them and thereby enable the blockchain function onto our NFT marketplace. Okay, so looks like the MetaMask is uh, the extension is set up. So let's get started by setting it up. And then we would say create a wallet. And we would just go and say, I agree. You can set up a simple password that you feel is relevant.
right and then we have to just agree so you can also go ahead and go for the secret recovery phrase, uh, phrase that is available so that in case you forget your password you are able to recover your metamask wallet so once you had finished installing the ganesh software you would have to create a new workspace so there would be a, give a random workspace name that you can choose and say save workspace this workspace will then provide you with a rpc server address as as well as a account address that we will use to fetch this ethereum balance into our metamask wallet so let's try to attach or set the metamask for our own use so we have to add a network so we want to add a ganesh network so this rpc url we will be able to find here so let's copy it so that we can connect the metamask also these have to be http in smaller case and by default we are able to get the chain id as 1337 so we will just keep it as it is so currency symbol for ethereum we will use eth and then we will save this network so after you save this network you will be able to see the ganesh network as well now what we have to do we have to import this account so to import the account we would require a private key so let's go and copy the private key you will be getting the private key by clicking on this key icon and copying this private key and pasting it onto your metamask wallet so this way now we have 100 ethereum into our metamask wallet now we can go ahead and check out our kit which you must have completely set up by now we also need to do another setting because we want to use ganesh as a test network so we will go to the settings and within the settings in the network i would want to remove this local host 8545 as i want to select ganesh as my test network so i'll just remove it and then set or it was automatically chosen but we will try to remove the redundancy and keep ganesh as my test network so as i get back to my kit you should be able to successfully compile the different smart contracts and automatically your hosting of the nft marketplace will happen on to your local host 3000 so you may have to press some enter keys so that the code quickly moves forward once the entire kit is properly set up and all the dependencies are successfully set into your system you would be able to get to this nft marketplace right crypto boy nft marketplace and now we would want to connect our metamask so let's click on it so you would see that our metamask will get connected and i would just simply say next and connect after this connection from my chrome happens i would see that the account address which starts showing on my nft marketplace onto my local system also this is a little bit balance that has been deducted while i was trying to set uh, you know get connected and set the ganesh uh, on onto my beta mask so let's now get to the minting part of creating a crypto boy image or minting a crypto boy image so we can simply choose the different options that are available we can change the eye border color we can change the background color 
right we can go and change the background color we can go for neck border you can change different characteristics or i would say uh, you can create distinct crypto boy images here you can name your crypto boy something like this and you can price it at as simple as 1 ethereum or you can maybe 1 dollar or you can go for a little less whatever amount you think is viable and then you can click on mint my crypto boy so minting takes up some ethereum coins so that is what is happening here it will try to get back again and check and link to your uh, wallet before uh, you are able to create and mint you know there is an estimated gas fee also that is incurred for every uh, transaction that you try to make with the blockchain so once you confirm the transaction on the metamask you would be able to see your minted nft crypto boy image onto the marketplace so now it is available for uh, you know buy and sell further we also have options when we have multiple tokens or multiple uh, nfts that we have created we will get the details here and since i can see that my token id is one i'll go to the queries and try to fetch this details from here so based on get token owner i'll be able to get the current owner's complete id right complete id and also i will be able to see the metadata so for checking out this metadata i can just uh, see that it gives me details of all the you know characteristics like the background head border background eye color mouth color all that into a json format so this way we are comfortably able to check out or mint our nft crypto boy onto the marketplace we would now like to say mint another crypto boy image you can give it some other random name set some very basic price and when you are going for this minting always remember that your metamask will ask you for confirming this transaction as there is some amount plus gas fee that is involved so we'll confirm it and that way you will be able to see another nft image on the marketplace with different token id and similar details that we has discussed had we had discussed previously so now let's get into the source code and try to understand what is happening so first we will try to look into the package dot package dot json file which has all the required dependencies for this kit to function so we can see that this is uh, using react bootstrap react dom to do the entire coding and setup the truffle which is helping us connect with inashe and then we are also using chai as promised and various other dependencies so we can just cross check here whether all the dependencies have been successfully set up or not so that accordingly our code will function next is the app.js file so in the app.js is where we see all the components of our nft crypto marketplace uh, basically being set up so if you first see that what is happening here initially it takes some time to load the different components right onto the uh marketplace so all that happens because there is this different functions called load web3 load blockchain data and set metadata etc wherein these functions basically load the different components that are required for minting this crypto boy image right so if you try and see individually there is this set mint uh button timer which also sets the amount of time for which uh, you know the time that will be taken to mint a particular image etc so you can individually go and check out the different functions as well also you can see that this load web3 does what it gets or it fetches your uh, from your local system windows.ethereum 
and tries to provide that you know try check whether a ethereum browser is detected or not so if there is no ethereum browser that check happens while this load web3 happens if it is there then it connects with your metamask then when we are going for this load blockchain data you will see that again with the web3.eth it try to fetch the account details right it wants to see whether the metamask is connected or not if your metamask is connected then it will load the account as we had seen the account and the account balance as well is also fetched right after your account and account balance is uh, fetched it is kept into this state so this set state is responsible for setting your particular state and then there is a uh, you know get the number of tokens etc right the how many tokens have been minted and all the other details that you were able to get onto the nft website are present here also the connection to metamask which is very important until and unless we are connected to the metamask we are not able to perform any transaction to the blockchain so all that is also checked in, uh, or i would say that is checked in this connect to metamask function further we have your uh, token uri right the fetching of your token uri with the help of which you were able to see all the metadata etc so we will see that then there and uh, therein you will see this where your length of the uh, crypto boy your price object value colors etc all this is all that is being provided and accordingly these features are set when you are trying to change those and manipulate or create an uh, unique nft crypto boy image right all that setting up function of these characteristics happen here so if you see the prefix so here is where you are getting the metadata you know for the particular token so the prefix remains same only the suffix part changes when every different token is uh, you know fetched against a particular metadata for also there are different error checks one of the error checks is whether your browser is properly or is configured for a ethereum uh, transaction right so metamask since we are using so that is the why it is given or it throws this error if uh, you are not having a browser where ethereum is supported right so i guess you can check out this code do your own changes and accordingly try and work out this interesting uh, candy kit that will be helpful for you to perform or mint your own crypto by image and do interesting task i hope this was helpful thank you hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the nft marketplace for images kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description below head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence gaming blockchain and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open viva community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye